Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 241 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. Knight may not be the typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. Here comes the smug face of Imperium. And his opponent, representing Imperium, from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! A man who believes the mat is sacred, but why not look good doing it? His resume looks good, too. Multiple NXT tag title reigns and complete dominance alongside Imperium. A lot of pressure on Vinci. Imperium expects the very best every time he competes. Well, just look at Vinci. This is a man who simply does not know the meaning of the word disappointment. There's always an air of sophistication around Giovanni Vinci. The way he carries himself, he knows he's carrying on the long legacy of Italian superstars. Not to mention the guy looks like he's carved out of Italian marble. I don't think Michelangelo could have sculpted a more statuesque figure. Yeah, and he's got the talent to back up that tremendous physique. But let's stop messing around and turn our attention to L.A. Knight, a man who likes to have a little fun inside the ring and who lives the good life outside of it. When L.A. Knight steps through the ropes, it's showtime. He's flashy, I'll give him that. But what really impresses me about Knight is how he gets down to business when the bell rings. He shows off, and he shows up. Absorbing that hit probably left Vinci's ego a little bruised. And L.A. Knight says it's his game, but what do you do to make it your game against him, Corey? If you give L.A. Knight an inch, he'll take a mile. So don't give him an inch. Knight runs on confidence, so if you get out front early, you might keep him from gaining the upper hand. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Clearly waiting for that. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. L.A. is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, man. Boom. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. Oh, swinging neck breaker. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Nice calf kick, great elevation. He's heading up top on the top. Double axe handle cuts. LA Knight kick to the gun. LA Knight with the BFT. Knight stamping an end to this. And the kick out. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Set 
but for the wrestling sweep. Nicely done. And Finchie turning it around. And another counter. L.A. Knight and showing his opponent takes a ride on the gravy train. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Talk about cocky, gloating after placing the knee on the back of the neck. Solid punch. Strong punch to the midsection. Brutal short arm lariat. All the momentum has swung tonight. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. Takes out the knee. And Vinci isn't looking helpless anymore. Vinci was being tested and was finally able to get some offense of his own in. Cover! Two count, no! Kick out of two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. And so much has already been endured in this match. What a display of guts, of heart. We'll see what these superstars have left in the tank. Neck breaker! Vicious right for LA Knight kick to the gut. BFT. Vinci's down and he might be out. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner, LA Knight. Giovanni Vinci with a tough loss tonight. This is definitely a blow to the ego of Vinci. Hopefully he can shake that feeling.